Okay, I've got a new find. Uh, Jiffy Coil sent me uh, some parts um, to build a um, basically a flyback transformer kind of high voltage deal. And it's a little teeny tiny thing about the size of your thumbnail, fingernail. And uh, it comes from Coilcraft. And you'll have to look it up online. And there's the part number, and that's what it's called. Um, it's for a step up or flyback applications. You run it with a 555 timer. And that's a little teeny thing right down there, a little tiny thing. And uh, it's doing uh, what we're, we're doing right now. And I don't know what to call it, uh, um, electrostatic event, whatever you want to call it. But uh, he told me he could run off one leg of the transformer and light up a bunch of LEDs. And so I tried it. And there's the wire. Follow the wire. And there it is way out there running the LEDs on one wire and it's doing all the stuff that the other ones do and uh, I've got it even picked up off the battery here like we uh, we've been doing and then it's off this coil right here at the top same kind of thing folks and this is a this is a flyback driver here um, it's a 555 timer running through a uh, TIP31 uh, transistor, an MPS A06 will work too, but it gets pretty hot. And then uh, the uh, legs on the transformer, um, like I say, they're not connected to anything. You just open into this goes to an AV plug to a neon, and actually that, that makes this happen. I don't know why, but on my setup, having that neon trigger at 60 some odd volts is causing this effect and like I say I've got the same thing I've, I've seen on other projects with this one wire and the the whole enchilada is going on here you know there's the water glass there's the the whole thing is happening here and like I say this is running off of a um, like a flyback transformer on the one wire here and uh, the wireless transmission isn't as powerful as some of the other things we've been working with but the thing is it's working and it's working off a 9 volt battery and I just thought that was very very interesting that it would do this and uh, what I have here is a 25 ohm rheostat to adjust the input power to make this go into resonance and watch when I turn this, I'm going to turn this here, this will go out of resonance. You'll see it down here. And watch over there. See that blink? This is going in and out of resonance when I adjust this. So anyway, um, this is called a coupled inductor. There's the part number, and it comes from Coilcraft. And uh, I would address any comments or questions to Jiffy Coil. He is the Tesla Coil guru that knows all about Tesla coils. And this is, this is Tesla Coil stuff. That's what this is. Um, I don't know what else to call it. It's an electrostatic type of event um, based on Tesla Coil technology. So anyway, just something I wanted to share with the guys that are working on these exciters. And this is another one. Have fun. Thanks for watching.